Alright, my people that don't watch this yet. Maybe one day somebody will. Who knows? But I'm trying to get this channel started. I got a lot of other videos uploaded, obviously. You know, a little bit about my personal history and my life and why it's called Real Talk. And how I want to talk about just about anything you can think of. Whether it is legal, illegal, sober, or completely messed up. Anything in between, broke, rich, white, black, all that stuff that goes on the spectrum, which is life, my friend, anything, you know, if you're gay, you're straight, you're kind of in the middle of a spectrum between being completely straight or completely gay, if you're autistic, spectrum, color wave, spectrum, happiness and sadness, spectrum, all that, so like, all I'm saying with this is, I'm trying to talk about anything, and I'm trying to make that happen, but right now we can talk about a little bit about Florida and how I became a legal junkie, basically. Uh, I go to methadone clinic, yep, and uh, right, right now I'm going to just show you, this is all legal, but where is it? Yeah. All those, those are my take-home supplies, I got... 14 days because this virus going around so I got 14 days to take home supplies you can see I drain I'm on five day five yeah so you know I ain't gotta go back until a week from Thursday which is cool um and then I also am absolutely 100% obsessed with my new favorite thing. I love this pen, which I will tell you. It is called the Evolve Plus pen. It's cheap. It's my actually my second one. The first one didn't break. Just the connections got weird. And I loaned it to a friend who I don't talk to anymore. Because he's a compulsive liar. But um, this pen is my favorite for smoking. Like concentrates basically on a coil at least i'm yet to try a ceramic bowl and i want to but i do like this pen it's price and the fact that you could pack it pretty nice put a cap on it and it has an extra bowl too so you can pack it up and cover it up and go have an extra one you know like for the day but my absolute favorite is shatter Alright, um, we got tons of strains, obviously, at every type of dispensary, but I'm an indica person. Sativas, they make, I'm, I can't do uppers. If I do uppers, I, I get paranoid, and it's not good. Like, I get very anxious and that type of thing, so I have to always go with a hybrid strain, and if I do, it leans indica and or an indica and i always go for the strongest i'm i'm all about edible style and inhalation if it's a concentrate and strong i don't like smoking flour anymore it's too rough on my lungs i've realized so i try to very minimalize the inhaling of smoke into my lungs so if i do smoke flour i actually use it's in, it's in my car, but it's called, I believe, I shed, I shred, and it's a dry herb vaporizer I like. It lasts for five minutes, you choose your temperature, and you hit on, and it goes up to that temperature, and for five minutes, you just toke it, and it vaporizes your flower. So you throw out the brown, blackish skeleton of it. And I usually put a little crumble on it too. Not much because it's oil and you don't want to mess it up. But um, you know I'm, I'm I'm I like you know I like crumble and rosin, but I definitely I just love shatter. It's just a consistency I think, and the taste and the fact that you can just drop it onto the coils, so the consistency again, versus having something you have to control and it's kind of sticky, you know, so. I mean, that's just a personal preference as of right now. Maybe it has something to do with the pen style I use. I Actually, I'm sure it does. If if there was a bowl instead of coils, um, things might be a lot different. I don't know. 
Um, I do like the cartridges. I haven't really heard too many good things about them with your lungs over time. But I do like to keep one around just in case everything out, like a pen breaks and I don't want to smoke flour. I always have a cartridge around, but I use it like my last resort type situation, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, you just go to the doctor, you, I, I get volume too. And that's it. I mean, I'm legal. I haven't failed a drug test since I joined the methadone clinic. I get Valium, I get methadone, and I do medical marijuana. So if I want to get high, I just get high on weed. I don't do dope anymore. I don't touch needles anymore. I don't deal with criminals anymore. I don't wait in parking lots anymore. I'm not wasting my money anymore. I'm saving my money. I'm putting it to good use. And it is beautiful. I love it. Every second of it. I'm never going back. Man. If I knew that I could just not be sick. Deal with my pain. Have a consistent income. Consistent drug for a consistent price. Which isn't available in the black market very often. Unless you're in a big city. Like Chicago in my case. All that is, it, it, it's beautiful, man. It's great. Um, and I would suggest anybody struggling with addiction to explore that option. Obviously, try to detox first. That's your best outcome, always, is detox. But if you can't do it, don't go playing with death. Don't do fentanyl. Please don't do fentanyl. That's another big motivator. When heroin on the East Coast anything east of the Mississippi that is, started changing to fentanyl, mm -mm, I'm not doing it. I, it, I, it started going from an enjoyable high to a, you hit it and you fall out. That's not enjoyable. That's called falling, a, falling asleep. There is no enjoying it. You get sick for falling asleep all the time? No, thank you. Don't want it. And sick every four hours instead of eight to... I mean, 12 to 24, usually took me about 20 hours, unless the dope was really bad, then it would be quicker, but 20 hours on like a 30 shot or something decent, I was always good for about 20, yeah, but now I can last two days on the methadone, I am at a pretty high dose, 140 right now, but it's working, man. And I got all gear to worry about getting lower, so I am in no hurry. I am stacking my paper and living my life and not worrying about that for the first time in a long, long, long time. But thank you for watching. Comment away. Subscribe. Like all that good stuff that nobody does. Appreciate it. Peace out. Stay free.